why could it be that deflation is starting to bottom out? And I think there's uh, three things I'd point to. First of all, if we actually look at the data, it is suggesting that over the course of the last few months, the rate of deflation has, to, has begun to decline. Again, we can see that in PPI specifically. So if you look at some of the upstream price series that China has, the high frequency data, it basically looks like the level of PPI hasn't changed since June. So it was declining before then, but since then, the rate of PPI deflation on a month-on-month -month basis has been zero. So that is a change. So that's one thing to be noted. The second thing in, in terms of CPI, CPI numbers are still quite low, and particularly in terms of services prices, uh, there is no sign that inflation is starting to bounce back. However, from a headline point of view, it does look like food prices in China are now starting to rise. And that should be quite significant for CPI in the fourth quarter of this year and into the first quarter of next year with Chinese New Year. So the average of PPI and CPI does look like it's starting to improve. Why does that matter? Because of this chart. If you look at this, that would be a clear indicator that the GDP deflator is starting to lessen and therefore the gap between nominal and real GDP growth starts to level out. Again, it's, it's, um, it's not the... Uh, sure proof that things are changing, but at the margin, it is a positive change for the economy.